You have to keep the hair. I know that's what I love about Rajnikanth because he has the he could have and wear the greatest wigs that people would believe are his full head of hair, and he does not give a crap that he has lost his hair at all. He is so he is so self assured and aware of himself. I love the man. Superstar Rajnikanth. Love the man. Superstar Rajnikanth. Yep. Oh, cool. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid direct season of Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks for following us. Today, we got an interview with superstar Rajnikanth. Wow. What? Yes, I'm not kidding. Wow. <laughs> it kind of just worked out that you no guys idea. That just were worked talking out. about uh, superstar Rajnikanth in the intro. It's a, an exclusive interview with superstar Rajnikanth. Awesome. Um, and I think it's mostly in English, uh, I do believe. Hope uh, he talks about the... the I want to give... I want to hear him tell me who is the master... That creates those wigs. Her name is Helen. It's the it's the he has the best wigs in the business. Here we go. From humble beginnings to super stardom. Wow. Great man of few words. <laughs> From humble beginnings to super stardom and becoming one of the most loved actors with a following in millions. His has audio is a little off. Yeah, the visual film. and the audio is a little an off. An actor par excellence who's acted in more than 160 films, <sighs> an acting career of over you? 44 160 years, films? an inspiration for Close. several actors, yet so humble and simple in I've real life. Had two he feature film releases. Blockbuster <laughs> living legend Rajni Kant, who is in New York, where he's being conferred the Golden Jubilee Award, the Icon Award, which is a special award that has been conferred on him on the Golden Jubilee year of the International Film Festival of India. Welcome, Kalaiva, to the Darshan News. <laughs> Thank you. So five years back in 2014, you were conferred with Centenary Award of Indian Film Personality of the Year. This time around, you are being honored with the icon of Golden Jubilee of Kitty Award. You represent 50 years of cinematic excellence. Your thoughts on these honors? Uh, first, when they announced uh, this award for me, it was a very pleasant uh, shock. I really thought, actually, I mean, uh, really, I mean, do I deserve this honor? <laughs> an icon award? So I'm pretty sure he's, you deserve He's it. deserving of an icon award. Yeah, I mean, accepted this award. And my heartfelt thanks to Indian world. All your fans say, and all the people who know you say, that you are so humble and that humility really comes across. It's true. I'm very humble. Really, that is <laughs> Moses said that about himself. No, I am natural. So nowadays, actually, I'm natural because... I mean, uh, common. Mm. <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm actually, I'm, I'm living my life like how the people, the other people, they live like. So it looks like, uh, I mean, different and, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm just, I'm quite normal or something. You're just being awesome. <laughs> I'm just normal, yeah. Just yeah. Awesome. Your life's journey has been dramatic. You have very humble roots, very humble beginnings you've had. When you look back, what do you feel? From uh, that humble beginning, what I am today, all credit goes to actually first my parents and uh, God's blessings and uh, the film fraternity. <laughs> yes, the, all these my producers, directors, uh, and especially my fans who are loving me from the beginning till today. What was that turning point in your life? Because you went to something totally different, and then you moved into films. You joined the Film Institute in Madras. Then there was K. Balachandar who noticed you. So what was that turning point in the entire journey? My entire film journey, the turning point is meeting K. Balachandar. Okay. Yeah. He completely he changed my life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, of course, I mean, I came to Madras and joined Film Institute to become an actor. But I never thought actually becoming a hero and... Uh, I actually, in the film institute, film institute also, I mean, I was in Kannada batch. I don't know him in Tamil also. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, Bajan Sari, I mean, I identified me, and he's, he's genius. I mean, everyone knows about it. And uh, he only told me, just learn Tamil, mm -hmm. then you'll see where I'm taking you to. So, he was so much confidence mm -hmm. so in me. So, he identified, and he told me, I mean, something in me, mm -hmm. to me. <laughs> And then Apurva Ragangal happened in 1975. How was your journey since then? Because like you said, uh, 
you began with villainous roles and then you became a hero and then you became a superhero <laughs> and you have uh, 40 That's to true. 50 years of cinematic experience with you so how has the journey been since uh, purva ragangal that was way back in 1975 and viewers should know that incredible the film won the best uh, film award uh, in the national film awards and it got three <laughs> national film awards yeah yeah it is actually may not be a small character in Apurva Ragangal, actually, when I uh, acted in that. But uh, while failing the picture, still the buzz and sir told me it is only a beginning. Only he speaks English like he speaks Tamil. So yeah, really fast. Really fast. In Mundo actually. In Mundo Mundicho, that is actually a proper introduction, actually, he gave me as a villain, as an anti villain, as an anti hero kind of character. Even KB sir himself, of course, he identified and he wants me to be a good character artist. Like that, he never even Bachanasa never thought actually I'd become a hero. Mm. Mm. That, that's not surprising, then, uh, what, considering how we started. Like, you know, so there actually, he actually he came uh, with the proposal of uh, me. Uh, he offered me as a hero, mm. and uh, fortunately the picture clicked in a very big way. So then that hero brand stamped on me. So it is like. You know, it is like from that day onwards till today by last three years. Yeah. And you've dabbled into uh, so much of regional cinema because, like you said, you began with Telugu and then Tamil cinema happened. You've done Kannada cinema as well. You've done Hindi cinema. You've acted in Hollywood too. So was it a seamless transition for you? What did, did you act work? in Hollywood? This, this would be very challenging for a normal actor. Did I already know this? So many languages. Yes, the language is a problem. So the reason when acting, emotions, everything is the same, but only language is a problem. In the initial, actually, I felt really difficult to act in Hindi films. Yeah. So then actually I picked up. Actually, later I picked up. But actually to cope up with, no, I mean, all three languages, two languages maybe, then actually I was concentrating only Tamil and Hindi actually in 90s, 83 to 90s. Then I find a uh, difficult norm in completely coping up with uh, being here in Bombay, because in Bombay, South is very, I mean, uh, um, uh, planned actually. Mm -hmm. Okay, now actually Bombay market has changed, then it was not like that. Mm -hmm. So then I find difficult, then I started acting in Hindi films, then I started acting only in Tamil. But in your film institute days, did you train in any particular language? Kannada language. Okay. Yeah, I was in Karna batch there then in 75, 73, 74 batch I was in. So you did so much of hard work, learning so many languages and then acting into films. Uh, yeah, yeah, being in Bangalore is a cosmopolitan uh, city, you know, being in Bangalore. In Bang Bangaloreans, they know three languages, their mother tongue, Kannada and Hindi. Yeah, and Marathi being my language. So, in India, so I mean, there's a cinema language in the Did he say Marathi is his language? Yeah, friendships are he legendary. Did. I mean, the story... His original language is Marathi? Legendary, so to say. Are you still in close touch with your old friends, with yeah. those you were in touch with, maybe from your film institute yes, days? Yes, that, that is my real friendship. Uh -huh. <laughs> that is my real friendship. Really, I really relax with them. I, myself, Shivaji, I bet. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's the, the difference is actually, it is, it is completely different. Whereas Shivaji Rao, no. Those are your real friends. Yeah, you can see Shivaji Rao. Yeah, they there. knew they knew me they knew I me when. Really happy they don't know you as Superstar Rashtakant, they know you're you as friends to your friends, you're a to all of us, you're a father to your children, you're a husband to your wife. You know, how is that part of Rajnikanth different from what we see? Everything is acting in life. <laughs> <laughs> everything is acting. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. You are not acting before camera, that's all. Off camera everything is acting, but you have to act properly. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You have to you have to do the character sincerely and honestly. You are a director's actor, aren't you? Yes, I am a director's actor. So when the script comes to you, how do you decide how to go with it? You see the script, director, what do you see? Yes, first director's voice, the first preference. So then actually if any suggestions, I will discuss with him. So this is like, it's like, I mean, I would like to do like this. So if he accepts, yes. Yeah, so actually, you know, we improvise a lot because basically I am from the film institute. Even Barchan sir also, he, he thought. So just whatever they have to say, sir, if you do that, do that, I mean, why, 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 why we need you? you no, know, what is your, uh, I mean... Uh, input. Input, in no, sense, your input. Yeah. So actually we discuss, we Bless you. Double portion. So if everything is fine, 
And your mannerisms, your signature moves, they are a rage. Your films have created their own iconic scenes and your signature moves, like I said, are a rage. So uh, what motivated you to develop your own style? Because I understand that when you began, you didn't have your own mannerisms and then slowly you developed your mannerisms and they are such a hit, needless to say. No, in the beginning days, actually, I mean, uh, I made a point, actually, every picture, in every picture I have to introduce some style, some gimmicks. Because it is easy to do your gimmicks or uh, in mannerism for a villain. For a hero, actually, it won't. Mm. It won't suit. For a villain, no, yes. <laughs> but he, he, a villain character, there is no boundaries. Mm. There is no limitation for a villain. He can do a bad guy, he can do anything. <laughs> Whereas the hero, there are so much limitations. Mm. Right? So in every picture, I made a point, actually, to create some new gimmicks, uh, new mannerisms. I used to work on that. Yes, the gate opening stand, uh, throwing the gate open. Okay, these and uh, the flip of goggles. These are really legendary, so to say. So do you give your own inputs? Uh, yeah, while yeah, yeah. Well, gimmicks actually I give my own. Uh, and you do a lot of practice, I'm sure. I do, I do. Months and weeks? Mm, it depends on sometimes when it comes just like that, you know, it will take. And sometimes see how to work, you know. And sometimes we take suggestions from others also. Mm. Yeah. And the director who discovered you, like you said, was uh, K. Balachandra. So, uh, how uh, did, you know, uh, that uh, happen? And uh, he also remarked when he looked at you during an audition that this guy has uh, fire in his eyes. Mm. Does that uh, fire still burn bright? I don't know, you should say. Yeah, of course it does. <laughs> from my perspective, from your fans' perspective, it does. It's God's grace. It's God's grace. I mean. But what keeps you going, you know, that energy that you exude? That is, I enjoy my profession. <laughs> I enjoy my acting. Mm -hmm. I won't uh, take that as a burden or as a work like that. I enjoy it like a game. So that's why there's no tensions. That's why it's called a play. That creativity, you know? Creativity will come actually when, when you start enjoying anything what you do. You have to enjoy first. You did a film on your guru, Raghavendra. Does spiritualism drive you in your career? For my, not only for my career, for my life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the spiritualism, spiritualism, spiritualism actually, actually has a lot, lot to do. Is that the reason why you go to the Himalayas? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. To, to get recharged. You're a believer. Very much. Okay, now, you know, three generations have uh, seen your movies and each generation has liked them as much as the previous generation. Are you a legend or a phenomena? <laughs> I'm just an act. <laughs> fans, Great answer. It's not for him to say, really. Kind of, uh, exactly. The that they have for you is mesmerizing. I remember how you know your pictures were based in milk. I mean, does all this amaze you sometimes? Yes, definitely. Definitely, actually. I mean, really, I mean, sometimes, you no, know, I mean, it makes me very emotional. The way actually how they love me, the way actually they give love, no, I can't, I don't know how to give back that. So that from that, no, I will be picture to picture, no, I, 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 I do my level best to please them, to do something, something new, no, I try, I try to please them, that is for their love, no, only that only I can give back. In normal life, you're so different, you don't wear your makeup, wigs which other actors do in that sense you've broken tradition because you are very original you are the way you are like you're talking to me without uh, any paraphernalia that other actors carry is it because you're comfortable with your own selves absolutely yes, you're true i'm comfortable i want to be comfortable <laughs> so in camera in front of camera I to act no wearing all that and everything so you know off the camera no if you if you if you do that even what you do in front of camera we feel like all the time, though we are in front of camera. Mm. <laughs> right? yeah. yeah, so I am very much, I think people accepted it. Yeah, fine. You work with young actors. I'm glad she Any brought that up. advice that you would have for many young aspirants also who want to join the film industry? First of all, actually, they should enjoy their work. Yeah, whatever they do, they should enjoy. They should enjoy. That is the most important thing. What's been your inspiration? Has it been the Almighty? Has it been uh, Director Mr. Balachandar or your own family? I'm sure you know there's something that uh, the family tells you to keep you going. You have your own drive. So what is it that's inspired you the most? One should be busy. Mm -hmm. That is the most important. Especially, especially when you are uh, across 
40 or 50 or 55 this thing no you know mr mr bachan is a great yeah. inspiration for me huh? great inspiration for absolutely. me absolutely yeah so actually when he strongly believe and actually advised me is a very good friend of mine mm. as he keep his busy be busy you are in constant touch with him yes yes yes, yes. Right. yeah 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 that is the most important thing mm. and do what i like to do mm. yeah do what i don't don't bother with what people say criticize don't give ear to them they have a great equation with him isn't it yeah very much bye rajnika yeah. the live was a pleasure to have you on the darshan my, news my, 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 my pleasure really a privilege for two darshan news to have yes. you thank you thank you It's actually kind of crazy that the, he's one of the biggest superstars in India, right? If not the biggest, you know, you, you can make a debate for that, obviously. Yeah. Um, but then he plays these larger-than-life characters, like these characters that are god-like, superhero-like. Oh, that so just, confident. Yes. That he's just this, it's like... so braggadocious. He's much more in real life. Just this small, he's, he's just like, a I'm sweet, just, small guy. I'm just an actor. I don't understand. Dand really why people like I'm glad they do right but I I just I, I just do what I do for fun and they shower me with love I love are you a legend or a phenomenon I'm I'm just an actor <laughs> <laughs> just what you want to hear yep it, it'd be really weird he's like no nah, I'm a legend yeah I mean he is yeah that's really not for him to say though no and that's across the board in anything I've heard people who you know they say I'm the goat typically you're not if you say it. Meryl Streep. She's the yeah. old goat. That's right. The old goat. That was great. If you don't know that story, it's a great story. Um, look it up. Meryl Streep. The goat story. <laughs> the old goat's coming around. Yeah, the old goat's coming around. I, I love... It says so much about her that she just accepted that they were calling... That he was calling her. not just hey, calling you a goat. The old goat just walked in. She's like, yep, that's me. Pretty much. The I'm old goat. goat. Yep. Um, I, so, yeah, he's wonderful. Just like... Yeah, gave. Shah Rukh Khan was asked that question. Are you a, a legend or him? He'd probably give a sarcastic answer. He'd give a sarcastic answer that sounds arrogant, but ultimately it's <laughs> yeah. He's it's like, no, not. I'm just an actor. Is no, I'm just he's the exact actor. same. He's like, I don't understand why I got this love and yeah. other, uh, somebody else didn't. I mean, I'm, he's very grateful for it. Just like superstar. One of the one of the questions I would love to ask. Because we really haven't talked to anybody at that that level no. of a Rajnikanth, a Big B, an SRK, um, uh, how they balance. Because they do it. I mean, SRK makes it a point to express his love to the fans. Yeah, Big B makes it a point to express his love to the fans, and I know he does that. I yeah. mean, we we watched. The, the the video you know the Japan frenzy over him yeah and and it, I I I would love to know some of the details of how they how they manage their life and their career by receiving and expressing that love to their fan base yeah. without it becoming all consuming of because it could be these kinds of <laughs> legends could could spend twenty four hours a day seven days a week just reciprocating. The kindnesses that are sent to them by fans, yeah, uh, I, and I, I'm sure they have a very particular way of expressing it and feeling like, okay, I know I can't be all things to them. I've got to pull back because that's very rarefied air to be at that level. Yeah, uh, I agree. Uh, that was a, a lot of fun to listen to. Uh, he has one film coming out this year that I know of, at least. And it's Jailer uh, with Yogi Babu. With Yogi Babu. It's also. Um, Ani is the composer. Of it, ah, so awesome! It's gonna have a lot of really good, great music. Song. Let me see. Uh, Anything else? Pre-production? Yeah, that's him. That's his page, right? Yeah, that's not. I don't think it's. No, but right there. Oh, it's a special appearance. I but think he's he, got a script and a pitch. I think. And this has, is just what's on IMDb. He only has one film of his coming out this year. That would make sense and to I do one film a year. Jailer. One or two. Um, same director as Beast. Which I know a lot of people thought was a really fun film. Um, not beast. I mean, master is what I yeah what, master what, what I meant yeah. Um, master. A lot of people thought was a really fun film. So I would love to see some uh, superstar Rashtakhan film, especially of his big bombastic hero opening the gates. Yes, uh, that we've seen some uh, like fight scenes from and stuff like that. So yeah. let us know what the next superstar because we've seen him act and we know he's a good actor. Oh yeah, but uh, I want to see the the superstar side of him. Yeah, as the well. hero superstar. Um, let us know what that film should be uh, down below. Just...